Okay, so now I'm going to be reading chapter three of a fan fiction I started eh, about a month or so ago. Yeah, I, I usually go far in between with these chapters, but I started about a month ago. It's called... I'm going to check and see if, I'm on, if I really am on chapter three. Let's see here. Uh, yes, yes. It's called A Diamond in the Rough by Dark Shock Bro. It's a very good story. So I'm going to read, read chapter three. It's entitled Friendship is Music. Once again by Dark Shock Bro. And you hear my dog barking. That's him in the background. He's got to have air. It's really hot here in Missouri now. So, eh, not hot, but, you know, it's nice. So, if you hear him, he's sleeping right now, but if you hear him, eh, blame him, not me. Okay. Silver Spoon, who had a white mane, a gray body, and weird blue glasses, was a lot of fun to talk with. When I asked her about her glasses, she said she didn't have good vision, and that's why she wore them. But it still looked like they were cramping her style, even today. But I digress. We quickly shifted the focal point of our conversation to our families. Silver Spoon brought that topic up. Diamond Tiara, how is your family? First off, since we're friends, you can call me Diamond. And second off, there. All right, I guess. What do you mean? We're friends, so you can talk with me about your problems. Uh, my parents are divorced, which means I think that my mom and dad are in different places. Ouch! Sorry I asked, Diamond. I sighed. Whatever. So, how is your family? They're great. My parents run a successful flatware store. Isn't that the stuff you eat with? And isn't one of them called a spoon? Ha! <laughs> Yes to both of your questions. So does your family run any businesses? I was brimming with confidence. As a matter of fact, my dad runs the most successful business in Ponyville. Even back then, I can realize how great that felt. Wow, that's amazing. No wonder you live in a mansion. I winked. Wait till you actually see it. After about a half a mile of our walking, we reached the mansion. Needless to say, Silver's jaw seemed to drop, and she seemed to be speechless. I can still remember how humorous she looked as she babbled incoherently. So I broke the silence. Wait, why am I talking to my own voice? It's Diamond Tiara. Awesome, huh? Well, don't just stand there. Follow me. I gave her a brief tour, and I escorted her to my room. It was, pl it was plastered with my favorite color, pink. Had a portrait of me behind my queen-sized bed, and even had a separate bathroom towards the back right, complete with a tub and shower. One one could say I was living in style. I also liked dolls, so I'd have about five doll houses, e each with about eight dolls towards the left where a window was. There's a bookcase of business related books towards the right. Spoon? Have you recovered yet? Yes, I think so. Wow. Good. Now, could you give me those studying points? S'il vous plaît. What did you say? It's French. It means if you please in English. How'd you learn French? You're a kindergartner. I pointed to the bookcase, and she simply nodded. Then she said, All right, the first thing I like to do when I study is to go over the sheet we were supposed to study from in my head. Then I think I simply I think I simply say the terms in my head until I memorize them. Really? That's it. My memory is bad. I thought there'd be a shortcut. Dang it. I'm really sorry. But I'm sure if you work on it your memory will get better. Alright. I guess I could try it. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Diamond. I'm sorry I couldn't help you as much as you helped me today. I'll keep on working. Yeah. Bye. I sound really weird. I'm Silver Spoon and Diamond Tiara sound both the same. I don't know. I I. This ain't Sweetie Chronicles fragments. So I'm not gonna have a stellar performance. Sorry. She closed the door and once again I was alone. Funny. I experienced loneliness since I was born, and yet, every time it occurred, it felt foreign. It was a treacherous realm which I could enter with ease, but never escape. So I decided to take some bits and go to the Ponyville Dance Studio. My dad didn't really care, since we had so many of them. In fact, I was sneaking off since my parents divorced, but even when my dad caught me, he said he didn't care. Once I arrived, I was greeted by Miss Rhythm, a nice, very fit pony with a teal body and brown mane. Tom and Tiara! Great to see you. Ready to get your groove on? I'm going to talk in a black voice for no apparent reason. She said in almost sing-song voice. Yes, I am. Great. Class will start in about five minutes. I don't know what really drew me to the studio at all, really. It could have been my desire to get away from my 
feuding parents, or my idea that dancing was ladylike, I really felt that I wanted to be more like a lady. Either way, I was happy with my decision. I strapped my sweatband on as Miss Ribbon put on her boombox. We danced to a variety of music styles, but my favorite kind was jazz. I just loved the feel of it, and it helped take me away from the problems I had been experiencing. No more feuding parents. No more trying to fit in. Just pure, relaxing music. I loved every second of it. After the dancing was over, I went home, took a quick shower, and I realized I had a saxophone lesson that day. I actually got my saxophone recently, because when I turned six, I realized that saxophones were used in jazz commonly, and I wanted to play some jazz myself. So I did what I always do when I want something, even though it isn't as often as you might think. I used my absolutely flawless technique of what I like to call diamond eyes. Simply put, I made the, make the biggest adorable eyes I can, give a cute little pout, and before I know it, my victim is in the palm of my hoof. So cute. Surprisingly enough, I perfected my technique when I was only five. I'm awesome. My dad cracked, again, and in one week, I got my saxophone. But back, back to the lesson. I walked to the Ponyville Music Center, used the elevator to get to the fourth floor, and I met my teacher, Mr. Blues. He had a tan body and mane, but what made him stand out were his big blue shades, which he always seemed to wear. However, he did tell me that he wasn't blind. He ain't no Stevie Wonder. He also had a tendency to point me, point at me during our introductions. I, I gotta give this like a jazzy feel. I, I, I can't do this like a St. Louis Southern style jazz voice, but I can't do it. Diamond TR, are you ready to learn some more jazz? I love this. I love this over the top antics. Yep. Cool. Let's begin. That's pretty good. For about one hour, I played some pretty toned down jazz, but I was doing great for a beginner, according to him. After a safe trip down the elevator, I did my homework and went to bed. After the first month of school, Spoon and I became besties, a phrase I coined myself. Not much else happened aside from me telling Spoon about my dancing and music lessons, except for the last day of the month, when I suggested that we should have a secret hoof shake. Oh my gosh, Diamond! That sounds great! Yeah! Is any pony watching us? No, I don't see any pony. Alright, I remember most secret handshakes starting with a bump with their hooves. Sounds good. Let's use both, and how about we do it twice? Yeah, and then we bump our elbows. Yeah, we'll call that a sugar lump. And finally, we bump our flanks. A rump! That's perfect, Spoon. Let's practice it. It took us three tries, but we finally managed to get it down. All right, Spoon, one more time. Bump, bump, shake a rump! We said, giggling, giggling, giggling like maniacs when we managed to pull it off. That was fantastic, Diamond. Yeah. You're a great friend, Spoon. Besties? She said, holding her hoof out. Besties. I responded, giving her one last bump before leaving to return to the mansion. Next chapter. The rest of kindergarten is covered, as well as Diamond's trials in the first and second grade. Cutie marks are also beginning to be discussed. Will anyone get one? Find out next time. So that was chapter three of... Uh, uh, Diamond in the Rough. Yeah, sorry. This dog is being annoying. What, I gotta pet you, huh? Pet your own damn self, foo. Fucking dog.